How is virtual learning going for your family? Two kids, right, still at home learning yeah. virtually. It, um, it hasn't been easy, yeah. honestly. And I know that it hasn't been easy on the parents, the kids, and especially the teachers who have to do virtual learning and yes. in-person learning at the same time. So it's difficult for every student. Yeah, I hard think. for a lot of folks. Yeah, and at least three Central Texas school districts know that, including Austin. So they're now reporting higher numbers of failing students in the first six weeks of school, the number of failing students at AISD nearly doubled compared to this time last year. Earlier this month, both Lockhart and Hayes AISD reported that about 30% of its students were failing. And that's why Leander ISD is making sure they want to catch these issues early on while the students have an option to work with tutors and get caught up. Nabil Rabana explains the approach. You know, having to be flexible and um, having to kind of be on our toes. Lauren Roy teaches fifth grade at Aiken Elementary. Alyssa Nelson teaches kindergarten. We have done a really good job of adjusting and changing and meeting the needs of our students. Students are also adjusting, which can be hard these days, but Aiken is using both in-person and virtual tutoring time to make sure students are grasping the lessons that are being taught. At Aiken, we actually have um, a designated time in our schedule called WIN. It stands for what I need, and it's just a time where we're able to look at what do kids specifically need with their learning. Then we're able to make sure that all of our students are getting what they need in order to be successful. For in-person learners, teachers can work with the students one-on-one -on -one in the classroom. Our virtual kiddos, we're actually able to do breakout rooms. So we can put specific kids if they need specific skills in this room. We can put kids in each of their own rooms and kind of pop in and out. So it's still, we're able to meet with those kids. It's just on a different platform. Darby Tabolka, instructional coach at the school, says tutoring students is very important, but relationships are also key to their continued success. So when they see a student struggling, we always kind of say, you know, what kind of relationship do you have with the kid? Do you know what they do outside of school? Do you know what they like? Have you tried getting some of their interests in? Because if we can really um, work on that relationship, a lot of times it fixes some of the other problems. Well, our teachers are working diligently to ensure that our kids are engaged in the learning. Now I'm told that win time is not only used to help students who are struggling or need some extra help, but it's also used to challenge some students who have mastered a lesson. Back to you.